Okay, well this is part two of the Nobex uh, 7 in 1 saliva barrel test demonstration. Here we have one of the foils which I'm going to open for you now to show you the test. When you're ready to perform the test, you open this up and inside you have, first thing to explain, is a little bag of desiccant which is what keeps it dry and absorbs any moisture that may have been packed in with the foil. And then you've got the two elements of the test. This is the barrel test with the drug test loaded around the outside. You'll see the middle section of this says remove label. That is where you read your results. And then you have a cellophane saliva collector swab. Uh, again, this has to be open to use. The mechanism for pushing this test back together is just to push down. You'll see these are flanges on the side and basically you just put this on a flat surface and compress it down when you're ready to do so. But what you need to be aware of and uh, it's vital to getting good test results is this element of the swab collector. This is really firm and rigid when you first get it out of the packet. It's hard, there's no giving it at all. Now this is the swab that has to be put into the mouth. You need initially, before you start saturating it in saliva, to ask the donor that's giving you the, the sample to work this around the front of the gums, top of the teeth, bottom of the teeth on one side, repeat that exercise on the other side, then inside the mouth, behind the teeth, under the tongue, around the cheeks and on the top of the tongue and then at that stage once you've given it a really good wipe around the mouth you ask them to feed saliva with their tongue onto this element until they can feel that it is completely soft, squishy and they should be able to with their tongue if they move it feel the central core uh, holding that sponge collector onto. So what we're going to do now is collect some sample on this, show you the difference between this rigid sponge and the saturated sponge to give you an idea of just how much saliva you need to collect on this before you run your test.